Hello and welcome to the sports update on The Breakfast. My name is Mikhail Tsinebu. The Italian authorities will impose stadium bans on 171 Juventus fans found to have chanted racist abuse at Inter Milan striker Romelu Lukaku during a Coppa Italia semi-final earlier this month. Police said on Monday, April 24th, Lukaku was subjected to abuse during the first leg at Juventus before, during and after the penalty he scored to earn Inter a 1-1 draw, the players' representatives said. The police did not specify the length of the bans that the fans would face for the offence. They were identified using video footage from the stadium. Inter fans also taunted their Juventus rivals during the game with chants referring to the 1985 Hazel Stadium disaster. The police findings will be passed on to football authorities for possible further action. Lukaku will play in the return leg on Wednesday after his one-match ban was overturned by the president of the Italian Football Federation as a measure to fight racism. Lukaku was sent off after receiving a second yellow card for his goal celebration during which he held his finger up to his mouth to silence Juventus fans. While um, Tottenham Hotspur have sacked interim coach Christian Stellini, the Premier League club said on Monday, April 24th, after they suffered a 6-1 humiliation at Newcastle United that put the London side's top four hopes in jeopardy. Assistant coach Ryan Mason will take over as head coach duties, uh, head coach duties with immediate effect, the statement said. Stellini had replaced fellow Italian Antonio Conte last month with Spurs still in fourth place. The defeat at St. Park's, uh, St. James's Park leaves them six points behind Newcastle and Manchester United, having played more games. Mason, 31, will take over for the remainder of the season while the club continues to look for a permanent manager alongside their search for a director of football following Fabio, Fabio Paratici's resignation this month. It marks the second time Mason has taken over as interim coach, having taken the reins when the club parted ways with Jose Mourinho in April 2021. Stellini was a member of Conte's managerial staff, and the 48-year-old Italian had stepped in to lead the team when Conte missed a number of games due to gallbladder surgery. In Conte's absence, Stellini guided Spurs to wins over Manchester City, West Ham United and Chelsea. However, he was unable to recreate that success after replacing Conte with Spurs, winning only one game against Brighton and Hove Albion. While Burnmouth snatched a last gasp 3-2 away victory earlier this month. And that's all for Sports Update on The Breakfast. Again, my name is Mikhail Tinubu. Watch out for more sports stories throughout our sports uh, news, uh, sec uh, news hours throughout the day. All right. Thank you so much, Mikhail, for that beautiful sporting news. And that's the much you can take on the breakfast today. Thank you so much for your time. Do join us tomorrow again at 7 a.m. I am Maureen Meno Nwezigwe. And I didn't do this alone. Nyamgo has been with me. Have Hello, Nyamgo. Say wonderful goodbye. Have a day. And tomorrow, remember, Wednesday, we're still going to have Wednesday Frenzy. I hope that you're going to be a part of that show. Bye for now.